here, um, which is also not preparing because I was driving here. Um, but after those vodka shots, I was like, screw it, let's just, just talk here. Um, so, first of all, I want to say, you know, a good quote that I heard one time. A great man once said, being asked to be a best man is a lot like being asked to do, do jury duty. Nobody wants to do it, but you kind of have to say yes. Right? So, also, by the way, that great man is me, and I'm just kidding, right? Um, but it is actually kind of like jury duty, meaning that we have to get all dressed up and pretend we're upstanding members of society. If anybody knows us from the gym, that's the furthest, furthest thing from the truth, right? We're all half crazy. Um, I, I kind of make this joke all the time that if you like to be punched in the face, if you like to be choked, if you like to be submitted, I mean, all that kind of sounds a little kinky, right? But if you like all that stuff, there's something probably wrong with you, right? And that is us, uh, 100%, right? But all joking aside, the cool thing is all about that, especially the guys here that all train together, it kind of builds a bond uh, like no other, right? Because we, we literally go in every day and try to beat each other up. And there's no guessing at the end. We know where everybody stands. We know we love each other and what everything means to each other. It's a weird world we live in, but it's, it's, it's kind of cool. And for, guys, for anybody here that doesn't know what I'm talking about, obviously there's a good portion here that's from the gym, that's who I'm talking to, but for anybody that doesn't know, I and my wife, we run a gym, right? I'm pretty sure, I'm not positive, but I am kind of smart. I think that's where these two met, hoping, yes, yeah. And because of that, um, I actually made this sign with my own two hands, because I'm awesome at things. Um, and so I wanted to show you guys this here really quick. Um, yeah. So this, you guys, you guys can, I'll, I'll actually hold it so everybody can see it besides him. Um, this is when Sam slash Samantha first asked me about getting private lessons for her daughters. And I don't do that, because I can't teach kids. I suck at that. Um, so I said, hey, you need to contact Wes. So here is that little conversation where I gave her Wes's phone number. Right there. And the rest is, as we say, history, right? So, so that's for you guys. If, if you want it, I don't know what you do with that thing. Kind of weird to hang some Facebook conversation with me on your wall, but that's, that's interesting. Um, yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. But um, here's the cool thing. Then since those days, here's kind of what I was thinking actually on the way here. So I will kind of think of what I was thinking on the way here. Wes in particular, and Sam now, but definitely Wes in particular, he's raised his kids in the gym, right? Which you think would be kind of weird. And it is kind of weird, right? They've been there since they were little kids, all the way up to however they old, however old they are now. I don't even know how old I am, so I don't know how they are. It's not, it's not not, but I don't know. But it is kind of neat because you know, as especially in today's time and age, like where toxic masculinity is kind of weird, right? We get to be around other men. They get to grow up, learn what it's like. They hear some weird stuff, some locker room talk. It is kind of weird. We talk about some weird stuff. Therefore, they're kind of weird. Right? Um, but it is kind of a cool thing, right? They're, they're really good kids. And the same has happened for Sam and Samantha. So they, which I also think is cool. This is what I watch from afar. So they get to work out with my wife, Lisa. It's really cool when I go down there and I hear those girls encouraging each other, right? And they say, you look, you look great. You're doing a good job. You're doing all these things. That's what women need to hear, especially young girls when they're growing up. I think that's pretty awesome, right? So both of the, all of their kids are doing awesome, right? It might be a weird place to grow up, but it's kind of a, a cool thing that's kind of worked out for us. Um, I'm not gonna pretend it's all about roses, though. I'm gonna leave you with a kind of funny story because I think that's my job is to kind of make you laugh a little bit, right? So before we do the toast, I wanna to tell you a story one time. So one thing we do at the gym, for you guys that don't know, so we have these parties often, right? And uh, we play games, we work out. Um, sometimes we do comedy, we do some weird stuff. Uh, we have a band, right? We do all this stuff. So I'm trying to think one night, what should I do to make this 
an exceptional different kind of party, right? So I'm sitting up late at night, scrolling on Instagram, just, you know, looking around. This ad pops up. Um, I'm gonna describe this the best way I can without being offensive, but this ad pops up, and it's two people with giant inflatable penises. <laughs> don't know what I look at for that ad to pop up, but it, it pops up. So there might be something wrong with me, but this pops up. The point of this game is you blow up these inflatable penises, you put it on a Velcro strap, you guys will get together and they will fight. Whoever's penis falls off, they are the loser. Right? Weird game. But late at night I thought, man, this is a great idea. This is going to be amazing, right? So I don't think I really tell anybody at the gym, I get these things. I'm like, all right, I got this. I'm gonna surprise everybody, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be funny, everybody will laugh, right? So we have this party, um, band setting up, everybody's getting ready. I'm in my office in the back, blowing up these giant inflatable penises. I'm not joking, they're like, this big, this big around. In as itself, that would be pretty weird if somebody walked back there and they saw me blowing up these giant inflatable penises. That's, you know, kind of weird enough. But I, I'm proud of it. I think I got this thing. This is gonna be hilarious, right? So I hide them in the back, and I think at some point I'm gonna bring these out, we're gonna play this game, it's gonna be funny. So the band starts playing, whatever. I'm out there just waiting for my time to bring out these things. Next thing I know, Zach comes out with a giant inflatable penis right here, knocking people in the face, right in the ear, all over the place. We don't know what to do. The band doesn't know what to do. They don't know if they should laugh. They should call like the police, Child's Protective Services. Nobody knows, right? Um, but that's that's what it is to be part of us. To be crazy, funny, and uh, have great friends. So, because of that, guys, let's raise our our glasses for a quick toast for these guys. And I hope I'm glad that you guys met at our gym. I hope that you guys continue to make each other grow and you do great things. We love you. Thanks. Yeah! Yeah! That's the last thing I need is more alcohol, but let's bring up uh, Jennifer. Next up. Uh,